Hiya, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for episode 101. I hope you're all well. Um, I didn't um, realise that yesterday's episode was 100 until after I started uploading it. Um, so, whoops. I should have done something special for it. But Anyway, now, while I was at um, Harrogate, I promised that I was going to have a couple of days off. Yesterday wasn't a day off, and neither is today, particularly. But... I do have my new toy. Whilst I was up at Harrogate, I bought um, the Paul Howard um, sphere cutting jig, and I've got it set up on the second sphere I'm going to turn. The first one <laughs> didn't turn out entirely um, well. It's, it's I don't know what it is. Um, so I have set it up more accurately this time um, on a piece of sycamore. Um, and I'm really excited to actually kind of, you know, make a sphere. So I'll move the camera around and I'll talk you through the, uh, the various bits on it. Right, so here's, here's the jig. Um, it's mounted in between um, the, the, uh, the, the bed bars with a, um, a disc that I turned to make sure that it fits um, absolutely centrally. Um, there's a really sturdy um, distancing bar and nicely marked um, distance markers for however big the sphere um, I want to turn will be. And it's got some risers uh, here, which bring it up to absolutely bang on centre of the lathe, and um, a quill that moves in and out with um, a locking nut uh, as well. And the whole, oh, let's just undo that, and the whole lot swings really easily over the top of these uh, of this uh, nylon washer down there and that's uh, that's it it comes complete with all the tools that you need to um, um, to operate it as well as some really comprehensive instructions which I think I must have partially ignored with um, the first the first attempt but hey ho it is just the first attempt after all so I'll stick it on um, Time lapse mode, and you can see how um, how uh, how this sphere is hopefully turned nicely. Sorry. The phone battery died um, just after the first part of the turning there, so I'm really sorry you missed that, but at least you did get to see a little bit um, of, uh, of the sphere jig in action. Um, I will do a video about it um, when I've got a little bit more uh, got a little bit more used to it, but it's really easy to use. It's a great setup, um, and I'm very, very impressed with, uh, with my first go. So after I turned the sphere, uh, I made this little kind of um, posh, golf tee, a uh, little stand for it, um, out of a piece of sapili, and then just finished it with uh, Hampshire Sheen microcrystalline wax, um, Carna crystalline wax, the stick. And uh, here's the actual sphere itself. Um, it's, uh, what, 75 odd millimetres in, um, uh, in diameter. Um, nicely finished. I've got a few little sanding marks where I had a couple of issues with um, with the cup chucks, but I'll get those sorted um, in time for the video. And then it was just sealed, and then it's had uh, a couple of coats of Hampshire Sheen high gloss, and then buffed with a wheel um, in the Jacobs chuck in the um, in the scroll chuck. And it sits nice and neatly on top of its little stand. And I'm chuffed to bits for a first um, for a first go. I'm really really happy with that. Right, it's, uh, what time is it? It's quarter to four, and I think it's time for me to uh, to go home as I've got emails and stuff to uh, to check. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I'm going to be getting on with a project video very soon. Um, but I hope you enjoyed at least this little interim project in the meantime. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.